Hello there. My name is Dina Falcone. I'm an herbalist, educator, the author of Foraging and Feasting and Earthly Bodies in Heavenly Hair. And what is exciting about this moment right now, we are celebrating winter solstice by opening my online course in the wild kitchen. It will be open for one week. Plus, I'm revealing a brand new course that I haven't shared yet that I'm pretty excited about that's going to be yours as a bonus plus a couple of other bonuses and we will get to those. But first, let's get into In the Wild Kitchen. I am excited <laughs> to take you into the wild kitchen, into my crazy kitchen here and also into the wild garden, into the wild landscape where you become an excellent plant detective and you up your cooking game. So the whole idea here is to create adventurous, educational, binge watch worthy episodes. That's what you've got here in In the Wild Kitchen. And um, really it's to get your creativity uh, in the kitchen to really pop. So we have foundational master recipes for you and we have 18 plants that you actually really get to know how to ID them properly and then how to use them, how to harvest them, what parts are used, how do you plug them into recipes. So there's the foraging part of every episode and there is the cooking component, the master recipe component. So I am excited for you to get in on this game so you can really get creative with the wild landscape, learn what food is growing right at your feet, learn how to bring that into your kitchen, learn how to maximize nutrition while making incredibly tasty food. I wanna get into the details with you about this master course, just so you have a little bit more um, info here. It is made up of eight episodes, so we follow, by the way, we start in early spring and we move through the fall, and you also get a bonus holiday kitchen forage, that's three other episodes and so you get this course with holiday kitchen forage takes you to winter so this is a four season program and in total you're going to learn 18 plants and you're gonna get 12 master recipes under your belt um, and things to consider too that we move slowly here i'm moving a little quickly in sharing with you but the fact is that we really take our time with the visual data. So you really get to learn the plants and it's a beautiful moment out there in the landscape. It's all about getting you to connect to nature, to really meet the plant kingdom. And then again, we bring that beauty back into our kitchen here to create recipes that you can customize to your dietary needs. So let's say you're casein free or sugar free, grain free. So the recipes really try to work with their masters. So their templates that you can pop from that you can create um, specifically to your needs. So let's just see what else to share. Oh yes, do not forget that we have created these fabulous PDF resource guides. So each lesson, each episode has its own resource guide and they're quite worthy. You, you can download them, they're amazing. I said that, right? <laughs> okay, PDFs, don't forget that. Um, other things to just mention quickly too is that in case you have my book Foraging and Feasting, which I highly recommend you get, you don't have to have it, but a lot of what we do within the Wild Kitchen is we bring to life this book and they work interchangeably, they work nicely together, they complement each other. So that's just another side note. What else to say? So if you want to forage and feast, right, if you want to up your cooking game, you want to up your foraging game, I believe you will enjoy what we have here for you. Let's get into some details, just some quick um, movement through the program itself. Um, and so plant features like young spring nettle shoots, we feature a wild green pesto master recipe. That's an amazing thing. You want to get to know how to make wild green pesto. You want to know how to make. Um, we move on to meeting black raspberry and really learning your wild berries and then how to turn them into luscious ice cream. So you learn this luxurious template of, of creating a beautiful fruit ice creams throughout the growing season. The idea here is to empower you to use what's ever at your fingertips. So the recipes aren't limited, so to speak. You know, we, we are going to learn a plant and you're going to learn how to plug it into a specific master recipe. But that master recipe 
um, for example, with the ice cream, you can use the black raspberry, but you can move all the way to the kiwi section and make kiwi ice cream or to the pawpaw section and so on. Um, okay, what else are we going to be covering here in the summer heat? We get into the wild green soup master recipe, a really important recipe. So you can make nutrient dense foods from scratch at a, a very low cost, super nutrient dense, beautiful food deliciousness. So that is you master the wild green soup and reawaken your soup making instincts. <laughs> okay, and then let's move on to into late summer. We need another superstar, superstar of the wild food kingdom. It's amaranth. And there you master the gratin. What the heck is a gratin? It's an e elegant, savory, custardy um, dish. And in fact, there you do need to have dairy, though, I think, yes, or at least eggs. But so the gratins are a very beautiful thing to know how to make. And then we move on to the luscious kiwis, the hearty kiwis and you spend time in the hardy kiwi grove and then you learn how to make this incredible kiwi mousse there's some secrets in there that will be revealed you want to know what those are um, and then we move on into the fall and there's a handful of of plants we meet there wood sorrel sheep sorrel wild bergamot these are really flavor packed herbs plants wild greens and in this you're going to be working with making herbal pastes we do have a fish recipe in there, a wild fish, so you could put that fish paste onto a fish, but you could also, if you are eating non-animal kingdom, you could put it on tempeh or eggplant and so on. So idea is versatility for these master recipes, versatility. Um, we move on and get into, oh, very important to get to know your wild salad greens. So there we meet chickweed, purple dead nettle, garlic mustard, wild lettuce, plus the basic vinaigrette. Um, so really that's a really important component of wild eating is getting to know the wild greens that are good for the salad bowl. Who's gonna be in your bowl? That's the question. Okay, and then we move on to pawpaw. You're gonna spend some time up in the pawpaw grove with me and you are going to learn the mass dress before making these amazing pawpaw chocolate pudding and a salsa with pawpaw. Um, and then we move on, by the way, to actually I'm not going to reveal yet because Holiday Kitchen Forage I'm going to get to in a moment. So the idea here in In the Wild Kitchen along with Holiday Kitchen Forage is to really enrich your life with bringing in the wild foods and learning how to use them and bring them to your table. Let's go on to the other bonuses. I want to move on to foraging fundamentals how to meet a plant that's going to be your bonus number one let's go to that now how to meet a plant foraging fundamentals that's the new course i'm revealing and i'm excited for you to get your hands on it it's a technique that i've been teaching that i've been practicing for 30 plus years and i'm offering it on this digital format now and i'm really excited about that it's all about empowering you to connect to the plant kingdom directly, organoleptically. It's about herbal dowsing. It's a beautiful hands-on nature connection exercise. And it's all here in the Foraging Fundamentals bonus that you will get when you join In the Wild Kitchen. Bonus number two I'm excited for you to receive. It is Holiday Kitchen Forage, my three-part mini-series. It's all about engaging the plant kingdom in late fall through early winter and bringing that bounty into the kitchen and preparing herbal holiday treats. What's on the menu there? So we go deep into burdock root, digging it, drying it, powdering it. We make a chai, a burdock root chai, and you learn how to become a chai master. And then we go on to powdering that burdock root and we turn it into an herbal truffle. You also learn how to create truffles that you enrobe in chocolate so there's a whole technique on that and you learn about the powdering of herbs and the oxidation related and so that's a pretty foundational piece in terms of herbalism then you move on to episode three and we go to the sky bog the little mini cranberry sky bog where you meet wild cranberry and you learn how to turn that into a festive relish that's also healing and delicious bonus number three is the live Zoom kickoff call where I welcome you and you get oriented so you get the most from this course. 
That's going to be on December 27th. You can also ask some questions. And if you can't be there live, don't worry, we will have it recorded so you will have access to it. Winter solstice celebration, let's recap. If you purchase In the Wild Kitchen, my masterclass right now, you will receive as a bonus my new foraging fundamentals, my delicious holiday kitchen forage, and the kickoff, the Zoom kickoff call. So that's all in this bundle right now, and it's available to you until December 26th. So get in on the deal. Click the buy button below. It'll take you to a secure checkout page. Then we will email you your login details. See you on the inside.